The Sligs are the primary antagonist in the gameplay of the Oddworld games, descendants of slug-like creatures whose natural habitat was swamps. Sligs evolved to become the primary brutal enforcers of the Magog Cartel and the industrialist forces of Oddworld by ending up in a mutually beneficial relationship with the Gluckens, who provide the Sligs with body augmentations and technology that they would be extremely vulnerable without. Sligs don't have legs that air being fused together restricting their ability to move, although concept art suggests that this isn't natural and is due to binding at birth to purposely constrict and halt any potential leg growth in order to keep the Sligs vulnerable enough to need the technology their Glucken masters are able to give them. As a result, the Sligs have a rather disproportionate body that's very weird looking. Rather than legs, they've ended up with a tiny narrowing tail and consequently are forced to crawl around for mobility resulting in rather large, muscly forearms. I mean, it's clearly good exercise, to be fair. Their mismorphed bodies, which include a relatively massive head compared to their tiny torsos, result in a constant slouched posture, much like my own, making the sligs seem short and unintimidating without their artificial applications. The variety of augmentations and prosthetics at the sligs' disposal is what makes them such an interesting enemy, with there being multiple types of sligs that a player has to fight against. Sligs are known to use mechanical legs, helipacks, wings, as well as pumping drugs into their bodies in an attempt to be stronger and appear more imposing, by massively increasing their short stature, resulting in an even weirder disproportionate anatomy than they had before. My personal favourite type of Slig, for some reason, is actually the Crawling Slig, which doesn't use any of these artificial modifications. However, even these supposedly naked Sligs still sport the very iconic mask every Slig is seen wearing. Another symptom of their messed up physiology, it protects them from dangerous gases in the polluted air of Oddworld that they're immensely allergic to. Although it hasn't been seen in any game what the Slig's bare faces look like, they apparently have poor eyesight, which the masks assist with improving. As the Sligs are said to have pathetic, tiny, beady looking eyes, as seen in concept art, it's no wonder another reason they wear these masks is that the Gluckens consider them to be so ugly, that they would simply refuse to work with them if they ever took them off. It is interesting to note though that in Oddworld Soulstorm, the highlight of their pupils can be seen moving about beneath the mask, hinting at their natural eyes. The Sligs' poor health is suggested further by the fact that they only live on average for 20 years, likely due to the terrible atmosphere and horrific body modification done to them early on in life. The Gluckens made a deal with the Slig Queen, Skillia, who willingly provides her birthed Sliggies to the cartel as personal assistance and a security force in exchange for a relatively comfortable life, where she is provided with everything she needs. Slakes are the muscle of the industrialists, the enforcers of Glucken ideology, and are vital to maintaining their power and stronghold over the native races and creatures of Oddworld. They're seen performing pretty much any physical task the Gluckens require, whether that be as personal valets and assistants being at their boss's side to pull levers and light cigars, or as the industrialists' insurance that their treatment of the Mudokan worker slaves won't result in an uprising, for it will be put down soundly and swiftly by the Sligs, with pleasure using the weaponry at their disposal. The name Slig is a mix of slug and pig, slug as that's what they resemble to some degree, and used to be like apparently, in their native habitats, and pig I assume as that's a derogatory term for police, and the Sligs are the security forces of Oddworld, even being seen as using police-like lights and sirens. Despite being naturally immensely vulnerable, the Sligs are extremely powerful and deadly when given the assortment of guns, tanks, explosives and equipment that they require to maintain this power. The relationship between the Sligs and the Glockens is actually more of a three-way relationship, as this technology is created by the Vika scientists. As a result, this beneficial triangle is more like the Vikers make equipment for the Gluckens, the Gluckens give the Vikers money to carry on the experiments they love performing, and give the equipment to the Sligs, who provide the Gluckens for protection, and a reason for the Gluckens to pay the Vikers. This relationship only works because of the lack of expansion on the desires of each party. Each gets what they want or need, and is satisfied with that. In the Sligs' case, they absolutely love their jobs, their casually sadistic nature fulfilled by their position as the brute force for the Glockens' factories and facilities, where they're happily able to beat up Mudokan slaves just for the fun of it. Now, to be fair, that is the funnest part of the games, just possessing a Slig and beating up a Mudokan is just brilliant. However, this behaviour is discouraged by the Gluckens, who naturally want a fully efficient, healthy labour force, 
free from beatings and bruises, and as a result, slugs that are caught harassing workers are reprimanded, which on Oddworld usually results in death, likely being eaten by their mother. Considering the amount of slugs that are seen beating the dockings though, I do wonder how well enforced these rules are. Indeed, the slugs are so sadistic and violent that they even beat their slog pets as a form of training to keep them in line, and their selfish nature comes through even further by the fact that they even gain amusement from a misfortune of their own kind. They can be immensely vicious, to the point of there being a story of a group of them ripping one slig's arms off, and beating him to death with his own arms simply because he was nice to Mudokans. Other tasks slig's perform include being entertainers, participating in and hosting television shows, and propaganda news networks, with some even being journalists writing articles in newspapers that spread the misinformation as their masters desire. Slicks are also hunters sent out into the wilderness to capture wildlife, to be brought back to the factories to be slaughtered. I can imagine that type of job being quite a highly sought after one by the Slicks, who often compete for remote postings where they're able to slack off work, often sleeping on a job which is another punishable offence if they're caught. Indeed, despite being loyal to the industrialists, they're immensely lazy, and plus they're also very social creatures, so they spend a lot of time talking to one another, showing off their weaponry, which is a status symbol among their kind. Slicks are immensely impressed, albeit enviously, by armaments bigger than the ones they own, and will follow whoever has the biggest and baddest firepower. As can be seen by the fact that Slicks live under constant threat of such harsh punishment, despite the power they hold, they're essentially slaves to the Gluckens, only one step above the food chain from the Dokken workers. When you consider all the body horror modifications that have been done to them at birth, how they're moulded into being the perfect servants for Gluckens, it's very clear that Sligs are actually victims of the Magog Cartel as well. It's the fact that they could lose the tiny bit of power that they do have and fall down to the Mudokans level, under threat of being replaced potentially by interns or perhaps greeters. That's one of the reasons the Sligs rarely attempt to use the power given to them by the Gluckans to overthrow their masters and take control, despite the rather precarious state of their living conditions. Sligs are actually incredibly loyal servants to their superiors, though. Well, at least until someone with a higher paycheck comes along. Being opportunists, Sligs are absolutely willing to betray their masters if the situation will benefit them, but won't do so off their own back, only if there's a high power to take care of them financially, even better than the one they had before. Indeed, the Sligs are also too unintelligent to successfully perform a full uprising and take power, which is something concept art suggests is again due to augmentations done to them at birth showing an iron mask around their heads to reduce brain growth and keep Sligs as dim-witted, unthinking, cheap security guards. It's quite interesting just how much interference the industrialists have in the Sligs' early lives to mould them into exactly what the Gluckens need them to be. Considering they were once harmless swamp dwellers, it's fascinating to know that apparently Sligs are born pale before developing into their darker hue of green and start out naturally as peaceful, loving creatures, but are very early on in the birthing complex shaped into the vicious, violent villains that they end up being, through programs at Slig Barracks and Slaughter School. Indeed, if a Slig graduates from Slaughter School, which I assume is a place they go to learn to kill, they earn themselves a name, a high status symbol among their kind, as most Sligs don't earn the right to call themselves a name and are referred to by their rank or position, such as the newscaster, the valet, and the chauffeur Slig. Indeed, it's interesting to note that Sligs were originally going to simply be called Order Guards. The Sligs are and pretty much always have been my personal favourite characters from the Oddworld franchise. I don't know why, I just really like them. They're so unique and weird and iconic. Even the noises they make are so bizarre, like the BS and the Samo BS game speak, which as everyone knows stands for bloody swearing and some more bloody swearing. These noises apparently actually being distorted flamingo calls, which actually is kind of funny to note that flamingos kind of have the same head silhouette as Sligs. The Sligs stand out in the Oddworld games, even though there are so many of them. They just have such great personalities, exemplified by their appearances in the newest game Oddworld Soulstorm, where their characterization is brilliant in my opinion. Despite being the aggravating antagonists of the gameplay, they bring so much humour and personality to the Oddworld universe, and that's why I absolutely love the Slicks. Hello, follow me.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 